Hello, everybody. Uh, you guys can't seem to get enough of these 38 120s uh, headway cells uh, I got from Alarm Hookup. I've got some uh, more questions on on, on these, these uh, cells, uh, primarily for vehicle use, uh, because I basically demonstrated uh, starting a car with these with this battery here. And uh, a lot of questions there. They, uh, people are asking how much of a battery drop, uh, how much of a voltage drop is there when you start it. I didn't check that. I didn't think to. Uh, so I'll hook this back up and uh, you know hook my meters up, and so you guys can see the voltage drop when I start the car cold, which right now is around 50 degrees. Uh, not you know, I mean, not typical for for Texas this time of year. But uh, I will be using the steel bus bars on 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 this one uh, to do the first test. Uh, people are asking, well, is steel a good thing? Shouldn't you use copper, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. We'll see. Um, right now, I'm going to do the voltage test with the steel bus bars and see what kind of a voltage drop there is. And after I'm done that, I'm going to take some copper tubing. I, I couldn't find any copper bus bars pre-made or anything like that. But my local Home Depot has some, you know, regular uh, copper tubing from, uh, uh, you know, for basic water is and, and what I'm going to do is cut this into equal sections uh, in the same length of these bus bars on, on this battery and uh, th then I'm going to flatten them out drill them out and then use them as a bus bar use it as a bus uh, bar on that uh, on those cells now I'm probably going to stack it uh, uh, double high in other words I'll, I'll, I'll use two sections flattened out put them together drill them out and use that as a, bu a bus bar because this is pretty thin copper like it's not really thick and I'm not sure how this is going to crush. Uh, um, I'm going to use a hydraulic press to actually uh, crush it, but you could just use a hammer and on a hard surface and you can, you know, get this flattened out. Um, but again, I don't know if it's going to uh, crack when it uh, crushes or not. I'm not sure how it's going to work, but we'll see. Uh, we'll do the test. And then after I'm done building the bus bars out of this copper tubing, I am going to test, do the same uh, test with the voltage drop on the engine again. All right, I really only needed five bus bars to uh, create this battery uh, with these copper bus bars, but uh, I found that after crushing the 5 8 copper pipe that I had a very thin uh, uh, bus bar, though it's quite hard and quite good, uh, and I'm sure for most normal applications it would work just fine, uh, but it's only uh, 1.5 millimeters, I believe. Let's see. As you can see, or maybe you can't, I don't know, let's see, 1.521 millimeters on that bus bar. So three of them will be about four and a half millimeters thick, which is about how thick my original steel bus bars were. So uh, I'm just gonna triple them up like so and use, uh, you know, use them singularly on, on each uh, battery terminal. And uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, holes cut through. And if you want to see how I built these bus bars uh, and to look so good, you, I, you know, I think it's primarily the uh, press, the 12-ton uh, press that flattened them out so nicely for me. Um, but um, if you want to see that, and uh, just leave a note with, in, in the video description below. And, uh, you know, I'll consider making a video on how to, how to make these bus bars. But basically all I did was crush this pipe uh, uh, cut this pipe to these lengths and then crush it uh, and then drill out the holes. That's basically it. So uh, there's my bus bars. Next, I'm going to put the uh, uh, battery together with those bus bars and then we're going to test the voltage drop in comparison to the steel voltage drop. Okay, here's my setup on, on the uh, 38120 uh, headways. Uh, for, and, and basically right here, I'm using the steel bus bars. I'm connecting it to my Santa Fe, the uh, V6 3500 engine um, and uh, as you can see I have a, a digital meter and a analog meter both reading zero right now because they're not connected I'm going to connect that up then I'm going to start the car and you can see the voltage drop with the steel bus bars and then uh, we'll see what happens with the uh, uh, copper ones let's see if there's any real difference this will be the analog and you can see the numbers at the top here and I'm going to zoom in on that and then uh, I'm going to connect it right up and then we'll start it up and you'll be able to see these meters reading the voltages. One more thing to show you is the temperature. I'm going to shoot it on the uh, return hose for the uh, radiator. Actually, uh, yeah, I think it is. Well, regardless, current temperature 43 degrees. Batteries 51. Uh, they've been out here for a little bit, cooling down. So, again, on the rad hose. All right, so. Uh, connecting it up here and I'll show you what that looks like on the meters okay we're all connected let's see what happens
Well, as you heard, it was a little hesitant, uh, but we're back up and running and we're at 14.40 volts. Uh, so, you know, the alternator is doing its job. Uh, I'm going to shut it down here and do it one more time. Well, as you saw, no problem starting it here. I don't know what the actual voltage drop was there, but uh, I will do it one more time. I am capturing this at 60 frames per second, so I should be able to slow-mo it and get a real nice number on it. Obviously, it seems to be getting easier for the battery to start it up, but as you can see, we're down to 13.22 volts at the, after doing those starts. Uh, if I left it on, I'm sure it would charge up again. So, not bad. Um, yeah, what's with the steel bus bars? I'm going to recharge the battery and put the copper bus bars on it, and we'll see what happens after that. Well, here's our 38120 battery pack uh, with the headway cells, and uh, I've got uh, the copper bus bars on them and you, as you can see I've tripled them up and uh, you know one thing about copper pipe that I didn't know is that it's hardened copper so it's fairly stiff it's 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 not as uh, uh, prone to bending as I thought it was going to be as you can see here I can lift it up and it maintains its shape pretty well but I can feel that it's a little softer than the steel of course it's got to be um, but uh, still its integrity is pretty good um, show you the tops here. There's the top with the bus bars and uh, bottom with the bus bars. So yeah, and you can see here I've got it tripled up. So we're ready to go on all sides. So yeah, uh, fairly cool day today. Uh, I don't know if it's as cold as yesterday, but uh, we'll go out there and, and uh, check the temperature and do a test with these copper bus bars. See how low the battery goes down. Okay, this is my second test uh, today. My first test was earlier this morning and I had it at, I believe, 35 degrees. It did start, but I, my microphone uh, battery was dead, so I didn't get any audio on that. I may include that uh, footage here, but right now we're at 45 degrees, you see there. Um, early, like I said, earlier this morning, about, I don't know, six hours ago, uh, it was uh, cooler, but uh, you know, 45 is still pretty good. So I'm going to connect it up, hook up the meters, and show you what happens when we start it at this temperature with the copper bus bars. All right, we're ready to go. You see the voltages there. We're at 13.98. Uh, uh, and again, on the analog, you can see the needle there. Uh, so let's start it up and see what we get. Okay, good start there. We're back to 14.42 or 4.3. So the charging system is currently charging those batteries. So I'm going to shut it off, do one more time, and see what we get.
Well, obviously we're getting good starts there, um, several there on, in a row, just to see uh, how much I could drain it, but it's still starting it up nicely. Uh, of course, the engine, you know, does get a little warmer once it starts, so uh, that makes it even easier to start. But uh, the first start was cold. Uh, it's the temperature that it is outside right now. So, uh, you know, pretty good result, even with the copper. I don't know what the differences are going to be in voltage drop between the two, but uh, we'll compare that. Okay, did the copper bus bars make a difference? Oh yeah, I think a 7% difference in performance is uh, pretty huge on a battery. So yes, the copper bus bars did make a difference. Uh, but I'm gonna put some caveats in with that and uh, uh, you know, basically summarize all this when, uh, you know, in the end here. Number one, uh, the steel bus bars I got from Harbor Freight were you know, very cheap. I bought a 14 inch clamp, I believe, a wood clamp, and I cut the, the metal bar off of it. Uh, into five sections, drilled out five of them, and got uh, a battery that started my car without any issue. Um, you know, it wasn't a lot of work, and the, I think I got that with a free coupon, so I didn't pay a lot of money for those. And they're not, a 14 inch uh, wood clamp from them is not a big deal. Now, these bus bars, these bus bars, the copper ones, were significantly more expensive as uh, it required this copper pipe, which I paid about $7 at my hardware store for, and a lot more work for me because. Uh, you know, unlike with the steel bus bars, uh, I had to cut 15 of these. So I had to flatten uh, uh, 15 of these, cut 15 of them, and drill 15 of them. So that was a lot more work. Was it worth it? Uh, I think for a 7% increase in, in efficiency on a battery, yes, it certainly is worth it. And yes, the copper does make a difference. And I would say on a, on a bigger battery system, if I, if I turn this into an eight uh, uh, cell system, uh, it would actually make even more of a difference. But there's only one way to find that out, and that's to actually do it. And I don't have another four of these to do it with. So, uh, you know, uh, again, it's it's individual to you. Both uh, 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 materials, the steel and the copper, started the car. Um, there was about a two-degree difference between the two tests, uh, 43 on the steel, 45 on the, on the copper. I don't think that's a big factor on a cold engine, really. I think it's pretty close. Uh, so I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't say that 7% was that uh, difference in, in, in uh, temperature at all. I wouldn't say it was a factor. So is it worth it? Well, to me, it is. To you, it's up to you whether it is. It's a lot more work to make these copper uh, uh, bus bars as you have to make 15 of them. You have to cut 15 of them. I have to flatten 15 of them. You have to drill 15 of them. Uh, these, you don't have to do any of that. You just cut them grind them down a little bit and drill them and you're done. That's five. Um, so up to you whether you want to do it or not. Uh, if you guys want to see how I made these bus bars, uh, leave comments in the, in the video description below. If I get enough uh, interest, I may make a video on how to make these bus bars. Um, uh, other than that, well, I just flat, I just cut the pipe. I flattened it with a 12 ton press and then I drilled it out. So that's basically all I would be showing you on the video anyway. So yeah, definitely worth it to me to make uh, the copper bus bars and to use the copper bus bars with that cell system to make that battery. All right, that's it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a big favor and click on the, the uh, uh, like button on the bottom right and give me a thumbs up. Uh, it helps my videos and I greatly appreciate it. Also, somewhere on this video, I believe over here, you'll see a, a, a link to the uh, to, to me, it'll be a picture of me, and that's a video subscription button. Click on that bu uh, button and uh, subscribe to my channel. You'll also get a second step once you subscribe to my channel, and that is the bell icon. It's a notification icon. If you click on the uh, bell icon, you'll get uh, notified every time I put up a new video, and then you can watch that in, at your own leisure. Uh, 
you know, if you guys have any suggestions for a future video for me, uh, I consider them. Put them. Put your comments in the video description below. I, I do read them. I do go through them. And uh, I do answer most of them. And, you know, uh, that way I'll know uh, who you are and uh, what you're suggesting. And if it's a great idea, yes, I, I, I will uh, consider it. And uh, I will more than likely make a video for it. All right. Uh, once again, and like always, I want to thank you for watching and for your time.